Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Here I have a battery electric car and a hydrogen fuel cell electric car. Today I want to compare them and tell you about advantages, disadvantages and how they work. A battery electric car is very simple. There's a big battery underneath that's very heavy because energy density of batteries is very low. So you have a lot of space and a heavy object down there that has energy for driving. You to fuel it up you have to charge it so you plug it in at home or at a fast charger and whatever and then the battery gets its energy in there and this energy then goes to an electric motor and that propels you to drive. In the hydrogen fuel cell car it's a bit different. You fuel up as a normal gas station you put hydrogen at 700 bars into a tank that's in there this hydrogen goes into the fuel cell and the fuel cell reacts with oxygen that has to be filtered before so the normal air gets filtered it produces electricity and this electricity goes to the motor and that propels you forward this car also has a tiny battery because when you go downhill the motor is spinning and, and slowing you down and this energy can be put back in into the battery in this car you have high region here and here you have low region but this still can uh, charge the tiny battery that's in there and that tiny battery can give you extra power to accelerate when you need it now let's talk about the advantages that a hydrogen fuel cell can give you um, mean fueling up at the gas station takes seven minutes something like this um, you have an extra card and I show you the charging how to charge in a minute um, put an extra card in there you don't have to go in and then you fuel up and that's it and then you go then you're at 100% um, and you can leave it at 100% that's no problem and with that 100% you get a lot of range with this car a big SUV well, not the biggest as you, but let's say crossover. Uh, I got at 130 kilometers an hour, 470 kilometers of range. That is amazing. And you fuel that back up at seven minutes. So that's good. What's negative about that is that the hydrogen gas stations are not everywhere here in Germany. It's pretty good density. So every 100 kilometers or so there is one. It's not directly on the highway. So you have to get off the highway and drive a few kilometers. So the, this one here is seven kilometers away from the highway in Nuremberg, Regensburg. It's a few kilometers off the highway. So for a long trip, you always have to go off and hope that that one hydrogen gas station is working but uh, it's a good system i have to say there's an app that shows when there's maintenance and if there's when the last time someone fueled up and how and, and is it working and stuff so that's okay but still you cannot do anything at home you have to go to a gas station and the gas the hydrogen stations are not everywhere that's a negative point electric cars you can charge at home i come at i come home plug it in and that's it and uh, it can be cheaper at home, of course, because at home you have a different rate than at a public charger. And if you have solar panels, it's for free. I mean, you pay for the solar panels and everything, but the solar energy can uh, fuel up your car and you can drive with that. That's just awesome. When you do a long distance trip, then, uh, especially in the winter, because heat comes from the battery as well to heat up the cabin. And when the battery is cold, you get less range. You drive and then uh, you have to charge and charging can take up to 15 to 40 minutes, depending on the car and, and where you drive, how the temperature is. It can take a while. So that, of course, is an advantage with the electric car. But charging at home is just amazing. And usually you charge to 80% at home, so the battery uh, 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 stays healthy. And with the hydrogen of car, of course, you can fuel up fully. It doesn't matter because it's just a tank. Um, also good with the hydrogen car is that the heat comes from the fuel cell um, so I noticed that the, the fuel cell is not very efficient and the, the excess heat it heats up very well there's a temperature uh, meter in in the car that shows the temperature of the fuel cell it goes up very very fast even of, of, of the kilometer it's already above 20 degrees and that can heat up your cabin so even in the winter you get very good range in the winter in an electric car you get less range because of the reasons i said before cabin uh, heater and 
battery is, is cold. Now let's get to a very big disadvantage of hydrogen fuel cell cars. They're very, very inefficient. To get hydrogen, first of all, right now, uh, it's mostly produced either with natural gas or it's a byproduct from a gasoline production for internal combustion engine cars, so it's not very clean. You can uh, produce it with solar power, but you need a lot of energy for that. So it's, it's very inefficient to produce hydrogen and then the fuel cell itself is also very inefficient. So whereas an electric car is very uh, efficient when it comes from energy to the motor. The hydrogen car is not very efficient. And the hydrogen is also very expensive. Here in the gas station, one kilogram costs 9.5 euros. It's a lot of money to charge up uh, the electric car. It, uh, solar panels, like I said, can be for free or public charger can be 50 cent per kilowatt hour or uh, at home less. Uh, 25 is what I pay cent per kilowatt hour, but others pay less in other countries. So it's way cheaper to drive with an electric car because it uses also this money that you spend in in a better way. Also, the cars are more expensive. This Hyundai Nexo costs base price 72,000 euros. You can spec it up to 77. This ID3, for example, starts, I mean, depending on the battery, but it starts at uh, around 32 and can go up to 50 for the biggest battery in the biggest spec or 55, something like this. But this is just way more expensive. Um, and main reason is they're not building a lot, the same with the hydrogen, they're not producing a lot, but it's all a thing. Is the sol is should solar power uh, produce hydrogen? Why not put it into batteries and do it electric car is more efficient, you don't lose that much. So I s even though this is a, a good idea and I, I like Hyundai that they're trying this and I wanted to test it how it is, a battery electric car is still better. I mean, um, it, it's starting from, like I said, st charging at home they can that you decide what the price is wherever you get your electricity but here you have to go to the gas station the prices are set by someone by a uh, uh, by shell or whatever where you where you're fueling up and you have to go to a gas station you can't do it at home yeah for me it just feels better to drive the electric car uh, first of all i charge at home i can uh, uh, select my provider myself with the hydrogen car you have to get the uh, hydrogen where the gas where the gas station is there's no other way and the prices are also set like I said solar panels for electric cars and then one big thing that's important to me and I think for a lot of other EV drivers is the power this car 120 kilowatt 160 horsepower weighs 1900 kilos this car is 204 horsepower weighing 1700 kilos and you think eh, it's not too much of a difference but it is 9.2 seconds 7.3 seconds from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour and just overtaking in this car overtaking a truck you think twice is it safe? Can I really get? And I notice uh, you don't see the battery level, so if the small battery in there that gives you extra power. And sometimes I floor it and I see that the power meter doesn't go to 100%, maybe to 80. And then uphill it accelerates extremely slow, slowly. And in the battery electric car, you get that too when you are in a very low state of charge under 10 percent or so but till then you have very good power <laughs> and also it's way nicer to get a region so you're going downhill you have a very, way stronger region than in this car and then the, all of most of the energy that when you're going downhill goes back into the battery that's a very nice feeling um, i just enjoy this way more but i still have this for six days and I'm driving it um, just to test it and see how hydrogen is and so far it's been an okay experience I fueled up I had to fuel up once I didn't have to fuel up the second time but I made a test that's why and electric car I just charge almost every day that's how it is in this car, like I said, at 130, 470 kilometers of range in my ID3 now in the winter I get 200 10 kilometers of range at 130 maybe maybe even less it depends on the temperature but still 
it's a way nicer feeling it's uh, it, it feels better uh, the drive is better and I, I'm, I'm, I'm honest I'm, I'm not a big fan of gas stations I'm happy I don't have to go there <laughs> and I'm not a fan when chargers are at a gas station <laughs> okay but that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye